change your bed sheets. You guys need a haircut though. So maybe we'll go to the Y. From the Y, I pick you guys up. We'll go to that barber shop down there. Okay. It's just to go trim it around. All right, let me cook fast. How long is it going to last? Huh? How long is the video going to last? It's not going to last long. It's just a breakfast. Okay. Uh, I hate this thing. Come move this phone from this thing. Put it on this for me. Oh, what kind of stupid thing is this? Put it on this. Maybe I can manage this better. You sure you don't want steak and eggs? Wow. I can save it for later. Yeah, I'm eating later. I'll, I'll put yours in the microwave. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Go wake him up. Maybe while I'm doing this breakfast, you guys take your bed sheet and go put it in the machine to wash. Or if you guys have the other bed sheets, change it, please. Change your bed sheet. Good morning, everyone. How you guys doing? Good to morning. I wake up like this. You guys come on, let's make breakfast. I'm going to make some steak. I'm going to make some salmon and I'm going to make some scrambled eggs. So as you guys know, Chef Ruby seasonings, we have to use it. The all-purpose seasonings. I see a lot of orders came in. Thank you guys for your, for your support. A lot of people order the seasonings. You know, that's all I'm going to use to season this steak. You have to season your steak. But well, anyway, did you guys sleep well? This have a lot of fat. Let me trash it. Did you guys sleep well? How was your night? How was your night? Tell me, how was your night? Let me put a little, a little. I'm gonna put a little salt on the steak. Rub this seasoning very well in your steak. Good morning, Miss Vicky. I love your hair wrap. Beautiful. Thank you. This is not this is just a rough wrap. You know, this is my sleeping wrap. If I'm going to a party, it's a different wrap. You know? <laughs> if I'm going to an African party, it's a whole different wrap. I'm trying to season this steak, all three, so I can grill it. Let me show you guys the grill. Good morning. How is everyone doing? I'm trying to make some steak for breakfast. I'm going to eat steak for breakfast. I'm going to eat steak for breakfast. And now let me move my steak here. So I'll put this bowl in the sink. So then I have two salmon here. I have two salmon here. How you guys doing? Share the live. Good morning, everyone. Share the live. Share the live. I'm making some breakfast to eat. So where's my seafood seasoning? I have two salmon here I'm going to make. On the side, I'm gonna make salmon and steak. Steak and salmon. This is the seafood seasoning. This is my seafood seasoning. So I just season my um my salmon. Make sure you season it both sides. Season the back, season the sides, season everywhere. Make sure the season catch your salmon. You can even Dip your fingers in some of this line the salmon have. You see that? Can your season? Can your seasoning season your food like this? 
So I'm going to put my salmon on the other side. I'm cooking the salmon on the other side of the grill. Let me turn you guys so you can see. You all see the salmon right here? Let me wash my hands. I have to wash my hands. Okay, I wash my hands. Wipe my hand. Put this in the sink. Alright, so let's come cook. So the steak is cooking and the salmon is cooking. Where is my thing? Let me see if it's right here. So I'm gonna flip my steak. Put more fire so my steak is cooking i don't want to use the same for the salmon because of my strong marrow fish and salmon so I'm gonna use this for my salmon right here guys please 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 share the live this is I'm gonna put some butter here and this butter I have to put it in a in a little thing that can squeeze when you put it is a lot coming up a lot coming up How is everyone doing? You guys wake up. Get up. Stand up. Wake up for your rights. Wake up. Let's cook together. I have my spoons here. So over here, I'm making some grits. I'm going to make grits and salmon. Steak and salmon. And some scrabble eggs. Scrabble. Scrabble eggs. Hello, my favorite beautiful African chef. Hello, Lashon. How are you? Good morning. Hi, Cece. She had a life. She had a life. I love the colors of your African. What? African longer. Oh, okay. Thank you. I normally like the other grits. I don't like this one. The other one is blue too, but it's different from this. That one you can get it from Sam's Club. So my water is boiling now. Now I'm putting my grits in here. That's enough for now. Let's see the thickness of this one. I don't want my grits too thick and I don't want it too light. So I just like my grits in between. So you have to keep mixing it. I boil the water, put little salt in the water and little butter in the, in the water. So now your grits is in there. You have to let the grits cook. Do you guys see the way my steak is cooking? My steak and my salmon. Share the life, share the life, guys. Share the life. I think I need more grito. Because it's too light. So, I like my grits to be like fluffy. Nice and fluffy. So come back here and flip your steak. You have to make your steak very nice and fluffy. Then this salmon, I'm going to flip it sideways. You want the side of the salmon to cook, right? So you're going to flip the salmon sideways. So when that side is ready, then we'll do the other side. So my grit is cooking over here. I wish you guys can come see this grit. It's so fluffy. It looks so nice. Let me taste the salt. 
hot that salt. But it's not done yet. You have to let your grits cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move my grits over there, then I'm gonna put this for my eggs. And I have to turn it on. So that little fire, that little fire I'm gonna continue cooking my grits. And I'm gonna put some little butter here for my eggs. Good morning, good morning, Tina. Good morning, Annie. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, guys. Share the live, share the live. You guys know Chef Ruby is a fast cooker, so when I go live, you all need to come right away and join in. How can I flip this to the other side? So you're gonna flip your salmon what? to the other side. I'm cooking the sides. I'm cooking the sides of the salmon. Then I'm gonna take this oil and put it on my steak. The steak is cooking, the salmon is cooking. Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning, Tina. How are you guys doing this morning? So I'm gonna break my eggs. I wanted to do potatoes, but I think the grit is okay. I'm gonna do scrambled eggs. Come on guys, come on, come on, come on. Share the life, share the life, share the life, share the life. Let's cook. I use my all-purpose seasoning for my steak and I use my seafood seasoning. I use the seafood seasoning for my salmon and I use the all-purpose for my steak. So go to the website and go order for your spices. I see a lot of orders that came in. A lot of people place their order. The best seasonings in the world. I think that's enough eggs. I'm gonna close my eggs. That's enough eggs. So I'm gonna flip this stick again. Let me turn the fire down. I don't want my stick to burn. Can you guys see the way this stick is cooking up? So I'm gonna lay my salmon back down. I'm gonna lay my salmon back. Guys, look at this salmon. Look how beautiful is this salmon with one seasoning. One seasoning. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful is this steak with one seasoning. One, one seasoning, all purple seasoning. You cannot beat that. You cannot beat that, guys. So. My salmon is cooking. My grit is cooking over here. Let me put some little butter on my grit. Some people like cheese on their grit. So I'm gonna ask who wants cheese, who don't want cheese. So my eggs are here. I'm gonna salt my eggs. Salt the eggs right here. And um, all purple seasoning. All purple seasoning. I like to take the inside of it. Just two. Two fingers. Then now the oil is ready. And we're going to come beat up our eggs. Where is the thing? Oh, God. I don't know. Yeah, beat up your eggs. I'm not putting no heavy cream today. Can you guys see? I love grits. I love grits too. Share the life, guys. Share the life so more people can join us. So you're going to beat up your eggs. Today I'm just going to do plain eggs. I'm not putting no heavy cream. I'm just going to do plain eggs. But you still have to beat up your eggs very nicely. It's in there. Put this in the sink. Everything you use, you have to put in the sink. So, let me, let me show you guys my grits. Let me show you guys my grits. Okay? So you guys can know that Chef Ruby know how to make grits. You see my grits, guys? Y'all see my grits? You see? If somebody wants cheese now, you can put cheese. Do you see my grits? 
is it too thick if it's too thick i can put more hot water in it but i think i like mine like that this is the eggs this is the steak and this is my two salmon over there all right let me put you guys back up here okay i didn't get a chance to cook my stew yesterday but hopefully i'm gonna cook my stew today all right where is this spoon for this now i can use this one so making our scrambled eggs scrambled eggs So we're gonna put some cheese on these eggs. Just right. Thank you. Just right. Thank you. So you're gonna put some cheese here. I want some cheese on my eggs. Like that. Do you guys see that? Hey, everybody's saying just right, just right. Thank you. No other this seasoning, no all purpose and seafood. That's all I use for my cooking today. Seafood, salmon, all purpose for the steak. So you all see the cheese on this egg now. My goodness. I'm just going to cover, cover this cheese all over my eggs. Oh my God. Cheesy eggs. So let me turn the toaster on to toast my bread. Malu! Malu! Wake up, open your face, come eat breakfast. I'm going to show you how I'm breakfast. Alright, I'm toasting. This breakfast good, though, I will come see. I will wake up this morning and eat the Alfredo last night. He eat the Alfredo like three times now. He loved the Alfredo. Alright, so I think my eggs are ready. Let me show you guys my eggs. You all see how my eggs is fluffy and nice with some cheese in it. You all see that? You can make this breakfast for your family. <laughs> Cut me. Come on, let me give you some. Eggs are done. Thank you. Thank you for telling me eggs are done. I think I know. My steak is done too. Steak is nice. And, and fluffy. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to break dance. When you see good food, you break dance. <laughs> hey, Miss Catherine said, I can show I have a plate of everything. Looks so good. Definitely. Come, let's eat. Okay, so now I'm going to start plating. Let me bring my plates down here. I need to buy like small, small, small bowls. Abu! Come, come quick. Run. Come quick, please. Go in that seasoning room. Those white small uh, um, bowls, like for soup. Those small bowls, they're on the table. Bring me few. Yeah, I'm going to use those for the grapes. So I'm putting this steak here. I'm putting this other steak here. There's only two steak on it. Actually, this steak gonna get some salmon. Well, then one salmon here. Let me move this steak here. All right. Give me one minute. Thank you. I will. Two. I don't think Madu like. Madu like grits? Yeah. I, I, I can put cheese on his grits. Maybe he's gonna eat it. Give me one more. Yeah. It's nice and short, sharp. Madu, you don't see this food how good it is? I don't know. Hmm? I will say it's too much food. Because you wake up this morning and eat Alfredo. Oh, that 
cute one. She is my baby. She is going to wake up all that she wants. Now come on, let's eat. share this life with your friends, share this life with your family, so they can come see how, how she will be closed down. How she will be closed down. Miss Carla, come eat all. One more thing I need. One more thing I need. Serrano peppers. Serrano peppers. Serrano peppers. Then one more thing I need. Don't forget it. This is the key. This is the key to your success in the kitchen. My seasoning. Go to the website and order. Go to the website and order. That's the success to your life. That's your success to your kitchen. So I make onions, tomatoes, bell pepper, wire, and serrano peppers. You all see that? You see how I make saute, saute onions in a few minutes so I can eat with my food. Okay, let me move you guys back here. I want you guys to see this plate. Share this life with your loved ones, please. This is a good recipe. Anybody can cook. So. Oh, my God. Hey, my bread. Don't tell me. What? Why I always burn my bread? I go. This one is not born today. Can you guys see that? Come get your, come get your plate. This is my plate. Come on, let's eat it all. Okay. Hmm. Let's see the way Chef Ruby cooks. So, yeah, come on, let's eat. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. I'm going to put some cheese here. I'll put some here on the side. They might not like it. Me, I don't want cheese on my grits. 
I just like my goods to be plain. It's okay with butter. So, can you guys see? Y'all can see very good. Come grab your plate, oh. While you're watching, you come grab your plate. I wish Abu, I wish Abu would have made a, a video of this so I can post it. Nobody be my ex. Hey, hey. If you wanna fall, you better fall now. Nobody be my ex. Mm -hmm. If you wanna fall, you better fall. Hmm. Avocado is very healthy for you. So, hmm. Oh my God. Abu! Eh, hey, Abu gonna say this woman called me too much. Abu! Abu, my son! Abu, my son! Yes, Where is my Louisa? Hello. Give me the oranges. You need to come go serve your, your future dad. Huh? <laughs> Abu said, huh? Look at this. Look at this, boy. Look at this. Who serve you like this in the morning? That's lover, lover. <laughs> Stephanie said, that's lover, lover plate. <laughs> Abu, Abu is rubbing his head. <laughs> Stephanie said, that's lover, lover. Uh, Stephanie, you, 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 you know how to follow up. That's lover, lover cup too. Sure. You better go serve your lover, lover. Before lover, lover, go eat. So, and show my son. Show them. My son. Show them. Mr. Lover, lover, lover. Mr. Lover, lover. You better have a girlfriend like me. You will see. <laughs> Abu said, if the woman don't behave like me, he will never marry her. So, let me put my own plates right here. This is Madu plates. Like I told you guys. Madu, Mr. Plain. Everything plain here. Eggs, steak, bread, everything plain. So this is for Madu. Abu, the man of the house. Eh? <laughs> Madu, come get your plate. I'm going to eat with my hand because I don't have no forks. I don't have no spoon. I have one steak left on the grill. Anybody want it, you come get it. Come grab it. It's for you. You guys, come on. See, that's why you call some good breakfast. Definitely. But I need a spoon to eat my grits. Let me get a spoon. I think I have a spoon. Abu, steak there. We don't want this steak. Can't eat this steak. Just steak. Get a plate. Mm -mm. You better come eat it before it's gone. I thought you were going to save one for later. Well, you better, well get, a, get a black bowl and save it. Get a black bowl and save it. Because if you don't save it. Right there. That one have a cover. Oh my God. Mm-mm. Mm. You're not gonna eat any steak? Mm. You're right, though. Let me cut half. I'll give you half salmon, too. Give me the knife. Yeah, I don't want salmon. No, give me the knife. Let me cut small steak. You want some eggs? Spicy, you want it? Mm. Is it spicy, spicy? I put some salad. But well, let me just give you the onions and the peppers. Mm. Okay. Okay, so let me enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. Mario! I don't have no knife. Mario! Yeah. Come in. Come to. Oh my god.
Let me show you guys how to eat. Mari, give me, Abu, give me some more mayonnaise. Let me show my people how to eat breakfast. Abu, gone. I want a small mayonnaise. Mm. I want a small mayonnaise. Let me show you guys how to enjoy in this life. Mm. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. I don't even have to eat the salmon after this. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. If you don't find a woman that can take care of you like this, you are suffering in America. Mm -hmm. mm. With my little steak. Maybe the salmon later. I'm full already. Mm. Barry X man, you wish you have this food in your house. Mm. You wish you have this kind of food in your house. You jealous? You wish you have this kind of food in your house. Where is the oil you see in this food? I don't even use oil. I use butter. So get out of here. Get out of here. You are very jealous. Because you don't have no woman that can take care of you like Chef Ruby. That's why you're jealous. Get out of here. Mm. Mm. I love it though. Mm, you don't love it. You say it's oily. Why is the oil you see not on this plate? Mm mm. We wish you can have this for breakfast. Oh, Miss Jacqueline, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Everybody, let's pray for Miss Jacqueline. She lost her mother. Sorry, may her soul rest in peace. Maddie said, Chef, come to my house and cook me some breakfast. All your food looks delicious. I'm full of, I cannot finish this. This I can eat it later. I'm so full right now. Mm. When I'm hungry, I'm gonna come back and eat this. Mm. Exactly, may your mom so rest in peace. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's very painful to lose a mom. Please, guys, send your prayers. Send your prayers. That's all we need. When somebody passed away, all we can do is pray. There is no amount of tears you can bring out that can bring them back. God is good. All I can do is imagine eating a piece of that steak. <laughs> 
Queen C. Just order my sis name. Go buy you some rib eye steak. You can cook this same steak just like Chef Ruby. And sit home and enjoy it. You're gonna be eating it. You see me, you see me, you see me in your flash. In your you're gonna when you close your eye, you're gonna see me when you're eating that steak. So go order for my spices and cook your steak for yourself. Thank you guys for the prayers. Please pray for Miss Jacqueline. Pray for her. When somebody die, there is no cry. There is no frustration. There is no amount of tears. There is nothing. There is no millions or billions. There is no property. There is nothing that can bring them back. Nothing. All they need from you now is prayers. No amount of money you can put in that grave. No amount of gold, no amount of wealth you can put in that grave for them to come back. So you have to pray. It's prayers. When you have a loved one that that passed away, mom, dad, sister, auntie, cousins, siblings, kids, you pray for them every day. You know, all the dead people need is prayers. Only prayers can reach them wherever they are. You pray for God to forgive their sins. You pray for God to give them good road. You pray for God to send them to paradise. Those are the prayers they need from us. Nothing else. Like I said, there is no amount of wealth you can take to that grave or to that cemetery for them to come back or for God to forgive them. Only prayers. You know, imagine when your mom was alive or your dad was alive. They wake up, they pray for you every day because they worry about you as a child. You're out there. They don't know what you're doing, if you're okay and stuff. So all they do, parents, they pray for you because maybe you're an adult, you move out, you live by yourself. They cannot be there with you. So they send prayers. You see, they sleep at night, they pray. So that's the same thing you have to do for your parents. When they're gone or even they're still alive, you pray for them. So may your mom so rest in peace. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Anytime somebody talk about a mom's death, it, it always hit me somewhere. I don't know. Because I know the pain of losing a mom. Especially like me, I, I lose a young mom. Very young. The time she's supposed to enjoy her life, God just take her from me. You know, so... Yeah, it's painful. So... If anybody lose a mom, I can feel the pain right in my heart. It's very, very painful. If you still have a mom, please cherish them, love them, take care of them, show them that you care, you know, listen to them, communicate with them, you know, because it takes a lot for a woman to raise a child. Mostly we women, we raise children. The men, that them, some men, they there, they support you financially, you know, some men, they will support you to take care of the child, but mostly it falls on we women. So to raise a child till you see that child grown to a beautiful person, it takes a lot. So all we can do for us to pay back is to love our mothers, to love our fathers, to love our parents, love them unconditionally, you know, just love them because after your parents um, get older, 50, 60, 70, they don't need much. They don't need much. All they need now is love and care. The same way they care for you when you was a baby, the same way they have those sleepless nights to take care of you, change your diaper, feed you, crying the whole night, da 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 da, till you become somebody. That's the same care we're supposed to give to our parents after we get older. I hope you guys are listening. Because they have many people, many kids out here in this part of the world where we live that don't care. After they pass 18, 19, 20, they think they are grown. They want to do what they want to do. They don't listen. They don't, they don't respect their parents. They argue. They do whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's not good. It's not good for any child. 
out there. Any child out there, because you have to sit down and realize what this mother have been through to, to, to make you a human being. Now you think you are 19, 20. Oh, I'm grown. I'm, when they talk, you do like this now. I'm grown. I'm old enough. I'm old enough to make my decision. I'm old enough to do what I want. I'm old enough to do. You, you would never be old for your mother. <coughs> you will never be old for your parent. You're always going to be a child. You are grown for the outside people. My own kids, I always set an example for them. I say, look at some of these um, this, uh, rich people, these Hollywood stars. It's, it, even in, Let me go to Nigeria because they have a lot of rich young men, young women in Nigeria today. But those kids, when you see they go to the parents' house, they bend down. They put their head down to, to greet their parents. Their parents going to go church them like this on their head. That's blessing. That means blessing. When you kneel down to your parents, they church your head. That's blessing. You understand? We see rich people, people like those music stars, those, those people that have made it in life, they're still humble to their parents because... Maybe in their head, they said, without these two people, I won't be nothing. I'm not talking about the dead be dead be parents that don't care, that just bring kids in the world just to bring kids that don't care. I'm not talking about those. But any parents that suffer for you, that raise you, that bring you up for you to look at yourself today and say, oh, I'm a human being, respect those parents. Because life is too short. You might, you might not value them today, but when they are gone, that's the time you're going to feel a pinch that, oh my God, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. You're going to wish, you're going to wish till you don't wish anymore. And the time is gone. You cannot go back and, and dig them from that ground and bring them to do what you never did for the past 20, 30 years. It's not possible. It's not possible. So please, let's cherish our parents. Let's be there for them. If you see Miss Jacqueline here, if you see her picture, you're going to tell is a little older woman, maybe more than 50. But if you see her come on social media crying for her mom, you have to know that the love she has for her mom. She feel the pain. Love your parents. Love on them if you still have them alive. Lo just love on them unconditionally. Just be there. Show up. Check on them. See how they're doing. Little gifts. Little things. They goes a long way. My dad used to say, feed me while I'm alive. <laughs> Don't come make a big funeral when I'm gone. And that's the truth. A lot of people tend to do that. When their people pass away, they do big, big funeral. They invite the whole community to come to show off. To show off. But were you there when they were suffering? Were you there when they were struggling? When they were sick? Were you there? No, you was on the street busy enjoying your life. Think you grown. Right? So that's all I have to say. And um, my prayers goes to you, Miss Jacqueline. Um, I pray for your mom to see paradise. I pray for her, for God to forgive all her sins she've done in this world. We are all sinners in this life. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. You're going to sin in, in some type of way. You don't even realize it. So we are all sinners in this world. So every day, pray for your sins. Pray for forgiveness. And thank God for the life. Thank God we are still here. Thank God because you wake up this morning. I wake up this morning, I don't care about makeup, I don't care about lashes, I don't care about earrings, I don't care about nothing. All I want to do is to come cook good food and eat. Sometimes life is just like that. Simple life. Get up, eat. Don't worry about, oh, I don't have earrings. Oh, I, I don't have makeup. How are these people going to look at me? Who, who cares? I'm a human being. I don't have to paint, paint, makeup, lashes all the time. This is me. Love me for who I am. But they have young kids nowadays that don't want to show their face on nothing if they don't have that stuff in their face. They are so self-conscious. All those things are nothing. Be yourself sometimes. Go natural sometimes. 
Don't care about what people say about you. Don't worry about the wrong things. Worry about the right things in life. Worry about how you're going to become in the future. Worry about your, your future plans. Which life you want to live later in the future. Not just the fancy, fancy things, expensive things. Me, it's now I'm, I'm buying expensive, expensive things. Oh, before, I don't care. I worry about to pay my rent, pay my, pay my restaurant bill, pay my workers, pay for my car note, pay my insurance. Those are the things that worries me. Not to go buy expensive stuff. Try to live a life you cannot afford. It's wrong. You know? So this advice goes to most of our young youth out there. If you have kids that are young like my kids, please show them this video. Let them listen. They need to focus on the right thing. Education. To become a business entrepreneur. How to become successful in life. How to build your own life so you don't have to suffer. So you don't have to beg. So you don't have to borrow. You don't have to do none of that. You can make your own money whether educated or not. But you cannot do that by being arrogant. You cannot do that by being rude. You cannot do that by being too grown for your elders. You have to listen. Because your parents always want the best for you. Your parents always want their kids to be better than them. If I'm a thousandaire, I want my kids to be millionaires. If I'm a millionaire, I want my kids to be billionaires. That's our wish, most of we parents out here. But you cannot do that if you don't listen, if you don't slow down and listen. Nowadays, kids, 18, 19 years old, they just want to get up, they go fuck until they go bump their head and they come back and realize, oh my God, I wish, I wish I would have listened to this lady. I wish I would have listened to that guy. I wish I would have listened. It's too late, oh. It's too late. So your kids out there, you need to slow down. You need to slow down. Your rush is not going to give you what you want in life. You can rush till tomorrow. You can rush. You can run till tomorrow. You, the old people used to say, you can run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> the old people used to say that you can run, but you cannot hide. You know the meaning? Because you think you have long legs, you can run. Keep running. The old person is going to stay one place. You're going to come back and meet them there and ask questions. You know? So that's the way of life. This is just a little composition I'm having with my jewels. I hope you guys are listening. And I hope you can pass this message to, to our young children, our young youth. They need to slow down in life. Take your time. Take your time. I remember growing up in Africa, <laughs> my mom, sometimes she would look at me and say, hey, you, hmm. you see me, I'm an old lady. And she was not even old that time. Maybe she was like maybe 40, 40 something. I was maybe 15, 16 or whatever. Because my mom had me at a young age. So she will look at herself and say, look at me, oh, I'm old. Now even your papa self, I don't want your papa to touch me. I'm finished. You, you want to rush your life? Rush. You're going you're gonna to get tired. You know, so the old women used to say that to us, we the young girls. You know, if we think like we're grown, we want to date. Oh, this is my boyfriend. Oh, that's my boyfriend. So they used to look at us and laugh and say, don't rush your life, my kids. Don't worry about boyfriend right now. Worry about your school. Worry about your business or something worry about something that's going to take you further don't worry about boyfriend girlfriend and if that age we didn't listen most of us especially for me i would have have like five kids ten kids right now in africa maybe grandchildren in africa if i didn't listen to my mom if i thought that time and me growing up at the age of 14 15 i was so i'm not praising myself i was so beautiful what is beauty what is skinny? What is, you know? So if I would have followed that, I think I'm pretty. All these boys want me. Or not even boys. Those old, old men that have money rich. I'm thinking in my head, oh, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. All these people want me. And sell myself short. 
I don't think I would be in America today. I would have been married in Africa at the age of 15. I would have had maybe five, five to ten kids by now. Maybe, uh, maybe by now I even have grandchildren, you know. But because I slow down in life and listen to my mom, listen to my parents, you know, today I'm going to say thank God. I'm not a millionaire, I'm not rich, but I'm comfortable. I'm going to say thank God for listening. My listening brought me to America. My listening gave me the life I'm living today. And look at the other side. They, they have other kids that will grow up together. Whenever I visit Africa, I see some of those kids. I want to cry. Because now they look 10, 15 years older than me. Most of them in Africa right now. Their life is finished. They are suffering. They married to those old men, you know, having kids. The old men have like three, four wives, you know. So I choose not to live that life by listening to my mom, listening to my parents. So thank God today. So young kids out here, especially our kids in America, they have the laws to their hands. So sometimes they will use the laws to mess up their lives because your mom cannot scream at you, your mom cannot whoop you, your mom cannot do nothing. So you think you can do whatever you want. But this is something that's going to affect you in the future. When you're young, this government, this uh, uh, country, or this uh, DFAX, whatever they call those institutions, they, pet, they petty pete you. The moment your mom go like this, they come to the house, they go like this, they take you. You, you think they love you. You children, you think they love you. But the moment you turn 18, 19, eh? Now you've grown to the system. Just go commit a little crime. They're going to come tie your hands too. They go dump you in there. You stay there. And nobody going to... Unless maybe if your parents feel sorry again, they come get you out there. If not, you're going to stay there for the longest. That's how it is. That's how it is. But most of the kids we're having here, they don't realize that. They think, oh, they love me. Oh, nobody can touch me. Nobody can do nothing. Nobody can even scream at me. You cannot even look at your children like this. Like this. They don't know what you look. Where are you looking at? Where are you looking at? They're going to ask you, where are you looking at, mommy? Where are you looking at? Okay. Well, after you're 18, now this uh, um, prison officer, they're going to look at you like this. <laughs> Get up. Go eat. Six o'clock. Go fix your bed. You're going to get up and do it. You're not going to argue. Because that's the system they want you to be. The kids, they don't realize that. Me, I tell my kids oh, every day. Especially my boys. I advise them every day. Tell them, break the bone for them. You have to break the bone for these kids. For them, for them to realize what's going on in the world. So that's all I have to say right now. Ah, I have so many wisdom. I have so many uh, little conversation I can convert with you guys. We can learn from each other. So I hope we we'll learn something here. Parent did great job raising. Raising what? Nobody can say it's better. <laughs> Thank you, Nana. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just a little touch of what I know, what I've learned. Being here for the past 20 years and coming from America, I know the difference that I know. I know what I learned from back home. I know what I'm learning here. So I know the difference. And I have kids here, you know. So, yeah. But we parents, we cannot give up on our kids. We have to keep talking. We have to keep advising. We have to keep expressing ourselves. Like I said, you have to break the bone. Let them see the white inside. So if they see the white now, they say, no, mommy is black. They leave them. That's all I can say. I love and appreciate. I'm going to come back and cook this lamb stew. I promise today I'll cook it. Yesterday I was too tired. But I'm going to... I have everything ready. So I'm going to come back and do the... Um, actually, it's goat meat. Goat meat stew and rice. Love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Share the live. <laughs>